What's up guys, it's Power Bang here and I'm bringing you guys the next war recap. We went up against a Chinese clan level 9, uh, definitely some funny stuff going on in this one. We'll check out the war events here, uh, check down towards the bottom, notice their uh, attacks on us there, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%. So we kind of knew what was going to be going down early, we'll go ahead and check out uh, you know, how theirs went on us. One troop goes down and they quit the raid. So. Um, that is pretty much what was going down, uh, you know, from their side. We knew that uh, early, so we knew we had to, you know, bring our A game, and we honestly expected a lot better from uh, their side. They couldn't hang, and we were able to put them away uh, pretty early. They left a lot of Town Hall 9s up, and we did not. We knocked them all out. Uh, no help once again. Uh, our guys took care of business, everything taken care of, and a few Town Hall 10 triples to boot. Uh, so it was nice to pull off a couple of those um, in circumstances where clans like this one could not. Uh, we figured that they would be pretty tough with 191 Wars 1 and a level 9 clan, but uh, we won the day, so it was good. Uh, we'll start off with number 6 here. This is Kana. Uh, another really close call. I believe he was in the last recap as well. Um, just didn't quite have enough on this base, but we'll go ahead and watch it anyways because this was a valiant effort. And uh, really like what we saw here from him. So uh, just drops in a queen walk here. I believe he brought five healers. And he doesn't have many golems uh, here, if any. Uh, looks like he's got, uh, looks like his king and queen only. And then five healers on his uh, queen. And that's going to make up the rest of his army camp space. So he gets in, takes out one air defense there. And uh, he drops in the king on the right side. Opens up the wall. And then as he attracts the fire of all the defense buildings there, he opens up the second layer of walls. And that king's going to head in to take out a second air defense. Now keep an eye on the queen on the bottom left. She's going to be uh, busy with that clan castle. And uh, she's going to take it out, gets the balloon first, or the giant. And then uh, also that uh, lava hound, all the pups associated with it. Uh, the king has died off, but he did get an air defense taken down, unfortunately. Uh, did not get in there and take out any extra wizard towers or anything like that. But the queen finishes up with the clan castle kill. And as she kind of heads uh, forward, in come the wall breakers. And that's going to get them into the base. Uh, so that queen's able to kind of go, go in, help out with some more defensive buildings, take out the enemy archer queen, and also target an inferno tower inside the core. Um, so fast forwarding through this walk a little bit. He's fighting the sweeper. Still has his ability intact. So everything looking good right now. Finally uses that ability, takes out the enemy queen, and at this point, he's able to go ahead, take out the expo as well, and he sends in some hounds now to target that first air defense, and he's got his uh, clan castle hound going into the second air defense. So the queen is just about to lock onto the inferno in the core. Hay spells help those balloons targeting in uh, to all the defense buildings, and all of the air defenses are now down. And at this point, uh, he freezes that first uh, section of you know, defenses in the core, but unfortunately he's too slow on the second section and loses almost all of his balloons there uh, to that second uh, Inferno Tower. So unfortunate, probably needed to be a little bit quicker. Had he done that, he would have gotten all this point defense knocked out um, on the backside, but the balloons die out uh, and it's just a little bit too short basically, but now he's got pups in his queen. Uh, to go ahead and try to finish off this base. Lots of skeleton traps are going to pop as the ground troops kind of circle their way around the core. Uh, but they get the town hall taken out. Everything else is going down at this point. Uh, and we'll go ahead, slow it down to 1x here to see just how close this was. We've got the archers working on that gold mine up there. Not going to be quite enough. And that queen goes the wrong way around the wall there uh, to target that spell factory. One shot away um, on that building and just a few up on the top right. Uh, but 98% for, for Kana. Another really near miss uh, Town Hall 10 triple for him. Nice try, man. Uh, Eugene going in on number 7, though, guys. Uh, Eugene brings the witches, uh, 10 of them uh, to be exact. And he's going to also bring in uh, Queen Walk portion of this. But uh, uh, Earthquake goes down on the core just to kind of soften everything up. Jump Spells goes down on the top. And the uh, I believe he's going to bring it on the top left as well. Um, just kind of getting everything in, and his goal here is to kind of break the defensive ring on one side. On the other side, he's going to do an Archer Queen walk, trim the defenses in that manner, and have her walk around the base. Um, and then a jump spell is going to kind of send everything in uh, right up the gut here. He's got one more jump spell that's going to kind of lead everything into the core. Um, but Giants and Witches lead the way. Um, everything's kind of redirecting now to that center portion. Um 
Single Inferno Tower there, guys. That's something to note. Uh, it's locked on to all the different skeletons. Look at them all. Uh, heading into the base, you know, being targeted by that Single Inferno beam. Not really going to uh, do any damage to him at all. So really smart thinking there, bringing those witches. And then uh, the final jump spell goes down to get him into that core. So smart thinking there. He's got a free spell for that backside Inferno Tower. Once everything's kind of committed to the core and uh, putting out damage there, you're going to see a Rage spell go down uh, to quickly get them through all those high hit point buildings and all of the high DPS as well. So um, now we're into the core. Uh, the Inferno Tower is working. And at this point, as soon as those witches are going to go in there, um, it looks like they've mostly headed around, which is unfortunate. Um, so he's able to go ahead, uh, get close to that Inferno Tower just about as they're in range. The freeze comes down. And uh, the Rage is down as well. And they're working on that Inferno Tower. Just about got it down. Um, comes out. Unfortunately, he's got to wait for his uh, troops to catch up. He loses three or four witches there, which, you know, not ideal. But at the same time, the Grand Warden gets off a shot on it, takes it out. And at this point, he's got, what, six, seven witches left over. And uh, the Queen at full health with... Uh, uh, the Grand Warden kind of backing her up, keeping everything kind of up at full health. But uh, nothing to really worry about now except for splash damage, which from that Wizard Tower, uh, that's the only real threat. So we'll kind of fast forward here. And with that Archer Queen backing everything up, uh, this base is cooked. So really, really nice job here to Eugene. I liked how you trimmed the defenses on one side with the Archer Queen walk and then uh, brought the Golem Kill Squad for the other side. So really nice work, man. And uh, he puts away the three star for the good guys. All right, guys, next one is number eight. This is Dad. Um, Dad is our one maxed offense, Town Hall 11. And he's taking out this pretty high-level Town Hall 10 here. Um, it is short on Inferno Towers, so that was one thing uh, that we noticed here. It's only level two. Uh, so he's just like, you know what, I'm going to overwhelm this thing with witches. Two jump spells to kind of um, get everything going in. Splits it just nicely, so they kind of are going to go down the different, you know, the, the lanes going around this core uh, just naturally the the clan castles out there on the top left and the golems and queen and the grand warden go down on the right there the king's kind of handling uh, business over by the queen he does not snap to the queen right away takes quite a while there and it's up to the witches and wizards uh, to kind of go over and deal with her eventually going to go down though finally that clan castle lava hound breaks and uh, everything's just kind of a mayhem free for all over there but witches wizards and golems uh, doing magic over there on the right side of this base. He's got the king in the core. Uses the Grand Warden ability to go invulnerable. That queen's kind of hopping around, kind of confused. So all these troops are kind of, uh, they all look drunk, to be honest. I don't know what's going on, but just the sheer power of level 3 witches and a max Grand Warden and maxed heroes, uh, really no chance for this base to do much, and he completely stomps it. Uh, look at how many extra troops he has uh, left over as he gets to the last defense on this base. Uh, this is this is wrong. This was just uh, complete murder. So nice work, Dad. And uh, we'll move into the Town Hall 9 stuff. All right, so we got Ivo coming in. Uh, he's going to start with a minion to kind of get a funnel started up top. And you'll notice he's going to bring a queen walk here, and he's got the... Uh, Valkyries that are going to help his golems go in, into the base and uh, get a nice deep push. And here comes the queen. He's broken that funnel off on the army camp, so he's trying to get her to walk to the right. So we'll see her do that. Fast forward a little bit, and what I really liked here is that he kind of sends in a hog early, gets that lure done, and he makes sure that the clan castle troops come from in front of the queen uh, so that they don't target the healers. That's a big mistake that I see a lot of people making, is they wait too long to get that lure done, and when the dragon comes out, he locks onto the healers and takes them down, so it shortens up that queen walk, and she ends up dying as a result. So, poison spell goes down, the queen is able to take care of that dragon with no ability used, no rage spell used. The poison is enough to slow uh, that dragon's damage down, and the queen continues her walk. In comes the, uh, the golem kill squad there from the bottom right here in just a moment. There they go down, and uh, we got some wizards there to kind of create the second part of the funnel. Wall breakers are going to go down, a test one first, and then uh, the, you see three more open up the wall, and that's going to get those golems to redirect here um, into this core. Uh, the queen's kind of circling her way around. She's going to join up with this kill squad, uh, which is really, really nice uh, because she's going to be able to follow them in and do some serious damage. So this golem's kind of pinned on the outside wall uh, because it is targeting that mortar and cannon. 
Uh, unfortunately, he's got one that's kind of going to waste, but that's okay. He still has one up, and uh, he's going to send those hogs in uh, to take down those defenses, and then, then the golem will redirect to the core as long as those uh, defense buildings are still standing. Uh, so mortar goes down, and at this point, uh, it does look like the, the buildings in the core went down, uh, so that golem's kind of confused. He's going to start banging a wall over here that's already open, uh, but yeah, I don't even know what he's doing. Anyways, uh, heads in through the core. He's got the, the near side bomb set triggered, and uh, he's got one more bomb set. Still has the heroes without their abilities used. The king's going to use his right about now uh, to hurry up and get through that wall uh, to trigger the, the last set of double bombs before his hogs get to it. Uh, so he's there to spoil the pathing. Really nice job with that. And as they converge on this last couple defenses, uh, only a single bomb to hurt his hogs. Really nicely done. Uh, very efficient raid from Ivo, and he's able to take down their number nine with ease. Nice work, man. All right, so let's check out the next one. Uh, this next one was number 16, probably my favorite attack that I saw this war. This was by da Danny Mo. And a uh, legit anti three star base. He's got the offset queen here. Um, and, and Danny Mo is able to kind of exploit the base's weaknesses, which is basically. Uh, exposed air defenses to a queen walk. So uh, he drops that queen on the right side. His goal is to walk her down the, the to the bottom left, and he's going to kind of take out that air defense as he walks. So um, while that happens, he's kind of created a funnel on the top left. The goal there is to make sure the king doesn't walk around when he ends up dropping him uh, because that king's going to take out a second air defense, and you'll notice he's got two lightning spells and a quake and he's going to get a third air defense with the zap quake method. So uh, in goes the queen. She's going to redirect here, and uh, of course the game is closing for five minutes and attacking is disabled during this break uh, because, um, you know, it's not like Supercell to ever let me do a, you know, war recap without, you know, interrupting it and giving me plenty of notice uh, in order to record these. So super helpful. Um, we'll go ahead and try to get, you know, one more of these raids in. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to cut the recap short, but you guys get to witness my life, man. This is the, what I deal with as a YouTuber, um, trying to get things put out, and it's not always going to go well. So kind of fast-forwarding, we've got the jump spell in. Uh, the king is going to take out the first couple storages, lock onto the air defense, get that taken out, and then the zap quake on the backside there, really nicely done. Uh, he gets another air defense, and now uh, it's time to get that queen taken out and destroy the rest of the defenses. And look at how much of the base he's already gotten taken out uh, with eight dragons. Look at this. He's able to just kind of uh, run them down like a runway. Last strip there, um, come in through the side, and they lock onto that queen, quickly take her out, and then uh, they just have one air defense to deal with. That's really the only thing um, that's going to do much damage to him. He's coming from behind the sweeper, so he doesn't have to wor worry about anything there. Um, they take out the town hall, and then all of them move on. Uh, to take out that air defense. And once that's down, there's just far too much firepower um, to deal with for the defenses that are remaining. So another three-star, really nice one from Danny Mo. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at one more attack, maybe two more if we have time. All right, so number 20 here, Dan Howe. Uh, I'm going to put this in 2x, and we'll just kind of watch it. Uh, five healers here on his queen, and he's basically just going to kind of, not a queen charge because he doesn't really enter the base, but I love the control here. Uh, he creates a funnel here on the camps to create that queen uh, to go back to the her, her right, our left, and she's going to walk up. Now watch this. He creates a funnel on the other side as well, it looks like. Um, he's going to uh, basically get all these buildings taken out. That wizard right there is going to have her head in to this little nook right here and uh, get that clan castle lured. The rage spell goes down. He gets the balloons. He gets the dragon. Everything looking good. Goal is to get in there and take out some buildings and then walk around back the other way. Absolutely loved it, man. And then uh, Golem entry for the queen on the bottom side. So he's able to trim some defenses here. Sends in a couple early hogs to kind of get some defenses that are distracted. Uh, gets that queen taken out with ease. And then uh, at this point, he's able to just send in hogs to clean up the rest. Um, just crushes it. Ten hogs left in the bag still as he heads into... Uh, the last quadrant of the base, he's able to drop a heal spell for all of the hogs to converge in. Um, everything's looking good. The healers have actually switched to them too, so it just completely overkills the base. And uh, Swag Poison's going to come down on the clan castle here, and uh, that's that's that. So three stars for the good guys, and uh, Dan Howe puts another one up on the board. So we're going to do, do one more attack, guys. This will be the last one I show. 
Uh, this is number 26. This is ABAP, and this is another extremely high-powered attack. Uh, putting it in 4X because he does send a uh, troop into a hole in the base, double poisons the clan castle troops for an easy swap there. Uh, gets the minion going to create a nice funnel, and then that queen's going to walk to the bottom. Uh, she heads into this little uh, cove here, gets all the defenses taken out, uh, really nicely done, and then it's going to walk to the south around the gold mine down there. And just look at all the value she's getting, taking out all these defenses, trimming the base uh, just tremendously here. That wizard helps out, keeping her going. And uh, in goes the kill squad from the right side. Um, the queen's going to join up with them, but the wall breakers go in. It's going to let those golems go in now. And then from the top left, he sends in uh, a first group of hogs. The top right, a second group of hogs. Heal spells are waiting on him. He still has a rage spell and another heal. Um, but it's <laughs> kind of overkill at this point. He drops all of them, but just completely smashes it. Everything done, and uh, the base is cleaned up in no time flat. A back with the three star. Got to love it. Um, so that's it for this war recap, guys. I had a, a, a few more to show you guys, but we're going to have to cut it short. Um, we'll go ahead and look at the stats. 29 three stars for WHF to 17 uh, for this Chinese clan. And uh, unfortunately, uh, they just didn't have enough junk in their trunk to keep up with uh, WHF, if you know what I mean. So anyways, 94% uh, average destruction. That'll hold us over till next time. We've got an exciting month coming up in January, guys. ton of arranged wars. And uh, we've got another war recap that's coming in the next day or two. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. So anyways, this is Power Bang. Until next time, I'm signing out. Take care, guys.